The Hillside and Arash Academy tragedy on Thursday claimed the lives of 18 pupils, leaving several others nursing injuries. Kenyatta National Hospital became the destination for those in critical condition. A 12-year-old boy is now fighting for his life at the National Hospital, suffering from 70% burns. The hospital management confirmed that the pupil had inhaled a significant amount of smoke, further endangering his life. The boy is one of the four pupils referred to KNH for treatment. He's a 12-year-old boy who suffered uh, a, a significant degree of uh, burns that we estimated 70%. The burns are both external and, uh, and the patient also inhaled a lot of smoke, which is, uh, which is another hazard. So uh, I would say that is, uh, is a severe condition. Uh, we are doing our best. We have put him on, the, on life support and he's receiving all the due care that is, uh, that is possible within our means. We have four patients that have been referred for specialized treatment with varying degrees of burns. Three are admitted in Kenyatta, Othaya, uh, Nyeri, and one has been referred here to Kenyatta uh, National Hospital, Nairobi. Seven have been treated and discharged, while three are currently undergoing treatment and observation. Health Cabinet Secretary Deborah Baraza visited the hospital and assured the public that Kenyatta National Hospital is well equipped to handle emergencies, as she assessed its readiness to manage cases arising from the fire incident. And uh, I have been assured by the Kenyatta National Hospital management that the facility is up to the task and ready to manage um, any cases. Uh, for example, uh, right now we've been able uh, to take care of uh, a majority of the patients uh, in the area where the tragedy has happened. Uh, we are happy uh, to, and, there was, and uh, our minister has actually just uh, confirmed uh, with the administration uh, that KNH uh, Odaya has been able to take care of the other cases. Only one case has been evacuated uh, to KNH here. And we are confident that we have the facilities that we need uh, to be able to handle this situation. National emergency teams have also been dispatched to provide psychological care to both the pupils and the parents of Hillside Academy. This tragedy has thrown the nation into mourning with anxiety gripping the parents of the school's pupils as they continue to search for their children. Reports indicate that 70 students remain unaccounted for. Brian Mwai, K24.